All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, here in DeFonji's garage, I'm here with Debo D. What are we doing right now? Well, we're going to go ahead and uh, do a little work on this 1956 Chevy 210. So a couple things that are going on with it. As you guys can tell um, from the last couple of videos, and if you haven't, please make sure you check them out. We did a lot of cosmetic work on the car. So the bumpers, the paint, um, did our best to try to, to bring this 10-footer back. But now it's time to dive into some of the 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 heating the cooling um you know the, the horn some of the electronics we're going to dive into that so you can't you guys can't tell right now and probably by this video the lighting's not that great there's like two puncture wounds and maybe you can right here radiator's leaking a little bit so we have a new radiator that we're going to go ahead we're going to throw in this car we're also going to go ahead and get it up on the lift. It looks like the floors were done on this car, so we're going to go ahead and just reseal it. And then right over here we have a horn, and we're going to see if the horn actually works. So hang in with us, guys. Back with the 1956. guys so we are here um, working on this radiator right now got the radiator cap off for the most part pretty straightforward three bolts on this this side three bolts on this side um, breather tube coming out of here that we're gonna take off and it's gonna be transferred over to the new ish radiator um, bottom hose is gonna come off first and we're gonna take the top off be prepared for a mess no matter what you do um, antifreeze is gonna be going everywhere um, it's just kind of the nature of the beast. It is what it is. So hang in with us while we go ahead and make a mess. You didn't explain about the pet cock. Do you want to talk about the pet cock? The pet cock. Yeah. So when you have your pet cock, if you don't want to take the bottom hose off, most radiators have a pet cock. You twist that pet cock and it's supposed to drain the radiator. We're not going to do that though, are we? I don't think so. And does this have, oh, it does have the pet cock. It's right here. Yes. Yeah. So that, that way, <laughs> The antifreeze can pour into this scoop thing here and yeah. then just drain all over the place. The scoop thing, aka, that's where all the tools are. The plastic, are. yes. Yeah. yeah. This tool should. Got it. Okay. Okay. Okay, Petcock 101. Here we go. Grab. You want to put a bucket underneath it? We can put a bucket underneath it. Well, we're just going to let it flow, go all over the ground? You have drip trays. <laughs> They're drip trays. <laughs> <laughs> They're drip trays, dude. They're not buckets. <laughs> Does it sound like it's going in the bucket or going on the floor? Actually, it's, um, that was pretty good, dude. It's rolling down the center plastic piece and dripping on. Is it in the bucket, though? Yeah. In the, bucket. in the bucket. What? Sorry for the glare. That's in YouTube land. Did you take the lower ready? That's what I'm doing. Oh, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it oh. was overheating. How much think there's in here? A gallon, maybe? Oh, there's a lot in here, I'm sure. 
enough to make a mess. And obviously in YouTube land, you probably can't see, but that's the, the clamp I'm taking off right there. You can't see it, neither can I. So. <laughs> now we wait. Yeah, now we wait. All right, guys, so this is the old radiator that came out of that 56. You can clearly see where you see moisture. That's where it was leaking, so pretty much everywhere. You know, here, 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 here. That is out. The new one's about in. Hang in with us. All right, guys, we're back here again. New radiator in Debo D's hand. Now we get to go ahead and see if it fits. <laughs> it's kind of fit. It was made in China. Right. We're stuck on the fan blade. There we go. There we go. Yes, but it has to come to the. Just go on the inside? Yeah. Are you on the inside? Try it. Stuck on the fan blade again? Yeah. Pull the fuck out of this. Alright, hold on. Stuck on the bottom. There we, there we go. Are you good on your side? And then we're hitting. There we go. I'm in. Like, do you have holes lined up? Yeah. In. Do you? No. All right, it is in uh, two of the three bolt holes line up, so, I mean, that's still a win, right? Still a win, it's better than zip ties. So guys, when... <laughs> uh, I had... What? Nothing. You thought I was gonna spill it everywhere. I did. I was waiting for a smartest comment, actually. No, I was gonna say 20 year old us would have used zip ties. So what you guys may or may not have seen is the holes didn't line up, then we got the holes to line up. However, the old radiator um, bracket was actually threaded. See what happens when I, I start okay. talking, I get all jacked up. Um, so the old radiator was threaded, this one is not threaded. So in DePonte's garage, we need to go ahead and actually get some type of hardware kit to kind of leave around. You would think so. Extra nuts and bolts. Yeah. Because we searched forever. Please. Okay. I have to. Oh, I forgot that thing was there. I have to get in this way though, because. Get in however get you in. can. However you can. You don't need to touch the, the shifter or the clutch. Okay. okay. All you should have to do is turn the key. Oh, I don't have to. I don't have to touch clutch. Nothing.
Go for it. Thank you. 